Okay, hi everyone. I want to start this video off by saying that this is not a video that is not just not easy, but is one that I, in my 12 years of full-time ministry, did not anticipate making. I'm about to say this sentence and then I'll give some context as to what's going on behind the scenes of that. But after 12 years at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City, the Lord has made it very clear that my time with the organization has come to an end. The reasons for this vary all the way from extremely practical reasons like finances, all the way to hearing what I believe to be is a very clear instruction from the Lord. And we'll dive into those things. But first, I want to acknowledge just a few things that have happened in the last month and a half since I spoke to you guys. Firstly, I want to say thank you guys so much. I did not expect for... Uh, my update video that I posted in the beginning of May to reach so many people. I really did mean for that to be friends and family, my iHubKC family, uh, and the supporters that uh, helped financially support me uh, while I was working at the International House of Prayer. But the, not just the sharing on y'all's part, but the, but the response that I got, whether it was through email, through the comments, through a variety of other means, was overwhelming and I mean that in a great way. There's always going to be a mixture of unpleasant responses mixed with very understanding but questioning responses going all the way through to we'll support you no matter what responses. All three of those um, blessed and gave me an opportunity to respond uh, in a unique way and I found that unique way being gratitude in my heart. So thank you guys so much. I also want to thank you guys for the really cool opportunity that you guys gave me to help spread finance to people that are in a pretty big need right now. With so many people transitioning out of the International House of Prayer, there is a great need for sustaining finance and, and you all and I got to partner with some of those people. So if you gave in any way, I just want to say thank you so much. You really did help families put food on their table. You really did help put gas in people's cars. You really did help people pay their rent while they figure out what's next in this chaotic season. This season proposed many challenges to a large assortment of people. Everywhere from fully funded intercessory missionaries to people who are bivocational and decided to partner with another organization or a full-time job outside of the prayer room or, uh, you know, many of us, and I'm speaking specifically uh, of the musicians, stretch out into the churches in Kansas City to find other work that's outside of the prayer room to help sustain our families. So deeply from, from the bottom of my heart, and I know not just my team, but many other people on the International House of Prayer base are extremely thankful. And so thank you guys so much for how you helped us. That being said... I've gotten a lot of questions over the last few weeks since I've been off stage. It's been about a month now. I'm looking at my calendar. It's the 18th. And my last time on stage was the 19th of May at the Foreigner Church service. Uh, so let me give you a brief update on what's been happening. I stated this before, but on May 17th, my team played our last set, and it was a beautiful moment for all of us to celebrate the ending of a season, knowing that it was preceded by one of the most difficult and hard seasons of our lives. It really did feel like a, like a triumphant exit for our team, and we are very grateful that we were able to have that opportunity, that the Lord helped partner with us and strengthen us to do that. Returning and reoccurring faces uh, were there. My, my family was able to be there for my last set at the prayer room, and I was deeply grateful for that opportunity. Then on May 18th was the uh, IHOPU, the International House of Prayer University's graduation ceremony, which was my last real act as the director of the Foreigner School of Worship to confer the diplomas to my graduates. And that was also an amazing time of celebration, and we were very grateful for those things. And then lastly, finally, the Foreigner Church uh, Department of the International House of Prayer uh, closed and had their last service on the 19th of May. And I was able to have the opportunity to help lead that service, and it was actually such a, a deep and confounding mixture of feelings were associated with that service, everything from gratitude and thankfulness into my heart toward to 
a very real and very genuine grief over not just the situation that I hope Casey is in, but the sadness of, of man, this season really is transitioning. And, and no matter what it looks like in the future, we all know that it's not going to be the same. So post that, my wife and I were able to celebrate our one year anniversary on the 23rd of May. Uh, we actually ended up moving to a new uh, living situation and we are very grateful for that. I'm actually sitting in uh, the new studio room in our house where I'll be creating uh, music and working with client productions in the future. Really excited for that part of our new season. Now during this whole period of time, um, I had a few very reoccurring but consistent words from the Lord that I won't necessarily go into the specificity of those words, but they did air a tone that the Lord was speaking about a finality to my season with the International House of Prayer here in Kansas City. I don't say that lightly. This has been a significant period of my life, my entire the entirety of my adult life actually, where I have been marked, changed, uh, and encouraged, strengthened by what I've been able to do at the International House of Prayer with specifically with the worship teams and then with the with the school and training young musicians and singers. But it does mark uh, a period of grief in my heart. Many of us were making plans with the International House of Prayer to go decades longer with this. And it's been made very clear to me that at least for me and my wife, we need to step away from the International House of Prayer. One of the key practical reasons I mentioned before is the finances. You know, there's a significant chunk of our finances were, were salaried by the International House of Prayer. And those sources of income are no longer there, no matter if I was on a team or if I wasn't on a team. I would have to fundraise or take a significant amount of time away in order to recoup those lost finances. So along with that, I've been actively searching for a job and there are a few opportunities that I won't really speak on yet, but when I have more information, I'll be sure to bring you guys into that conversation because there are some really genuinely exciting opportunities out there that I'm exploring and partnering with other ministries and people. It is still in my heart, I said this in my last video, to to participate in corporate worship and corporate prayer and, and not neglect the individual seeking and, and the fragrance of the Lord, but I, I deeply yearn to take um, part in a community of people that believe in those things. Alongside that, the uncertainty with what the International House of Prayer is going to be going forward, not just with the resource of people, um, but the sustainability of the ministry is a deep, question for me. I, I, I don't necessarily have answers to those things. So those things combined, as well as a few other concerns, I'll say, are some of the reasons why I, we have decided to step away from the ministry. We're still in Kansas City, and I, and I would still love to, at different points, participate as a voluntary intercessor in the prayer room. But as far as the prayer room being my full-time occupation, that is sadly a season that's coming to an end. And that carries, I mentioned it before, just a lot of grief, and there's there's a lot of self-reflection in this moment. I grieve for the victims of the tragedy of everything that's happened with IHOP KC, um, and I fully believe that the Lord brought the situation on. There was a moment in time where he said that he is going to speak on behalf of victims. And my heart's cry is still, Lord, would you expose everything that needs to be exposed? Whether it is one man or whether it is a whole structure, um, that is what my prayer to the Lord is in this time, while also remembering how much I adore the people, how much I adore the leaders, how much I adore the mission of night and day prayer. I really do love those things even if I'm not going to be participating full-time in those things anymore. So I hope this video brings a little bit of clarity. If you have questions, my email, I gave it out last video, and guys, the emails that I received were so helpful, so encouraging to me, and I did feel bolstered um, in that spirit of Ephesians 5, just strengthened to seek after the Lord. I feel peace. I feel no anxiousness. Um, even while not necessarily knowing what is next and, and actively looking for opportunities to jump in with other ministries, I feel zeal over the idea of a people that pray. And I feel zeal over training up musicians and singers. So if you guys have any questions, 
concerns, comments, whatever, obviously you could comment down below on this video. But beyond that, I do want to say thank you guys so much. Um, my email is below in the description or at the bottom of this video. And you guys can totally reach out to me there. But guys, please continue to keep me and my wife in your prayers. You know, we've had a very um, restful month and, and it's something that's been very needed. And I do feel that zealousness to to lead people into deeper truths in God and to be led myself and pastored myself. So as we begin this journey together of the next season of our lives, please keep us in prayer. We, we heavily invite it, the partnership with the rest of the body. So bless you guys. Thank you so much. Hopefully this brings clarity. Um, I deeply love you guys, just the other members of the body. I, I hope that comes across well, that I do hold you guys in high regard in my heart. So thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.